Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my best tips to improve at Rainbow Six Siege. So if you guys find this interesting and you find it helpful, please drop a like and a comment under this video. Subscribe and turn notifications on if you're new. And if you want any more in-depth tips, you can check out the rest of my tips with my tips playlist, which I have linked down below in the description, as well as my coaching service, which is also in the description. Anyways, though, let's get on to the first tip here. So my number one tip is to just not focus on your rank or KD. And I know this sounds counterintuitive, and I know a lot of people are going to freak out here, but just bear with me for one second. So I see from my Twitch chat and YouTube comments that a lot of people are really, really focused on the rank and KD. And the number one question I get is, hey, how can I improve my rank? Or how do I rank up to plat two from plat three? Or how do I get the diamond from plat one? And people don't usually ask instead, hey, how do I get better as a player? How do I improve as an individual? And I think that's a better question, honestly, than trying to focus on what your rank is or what your KD is. It's much more important to instead focus on how good you are as an individual and things such as your rank and your KD are going to come with that in the end. So my tips for this would be to just not focus on your rank or KD and instead focus on your individual issues. If you are not good at aiming, focus on improving your aiming mechanics. If you're not good at movement, improve your movement. Focus on things that you're not good at and then your rank and KD will eventually improve along with those. Next up, I, I, see this, I see this a lot in my Twitch chat and YouTube comments again, just like the last one. And that's people asking, hey, I main this operator. How do you suggest I play them? Or, hey, I want to main this operator. How do I play them? And I think, honestly, it's best to not main an operator. I think it's good to have, you know, one, two, three operators that you maybe play predominantly and you play a lot more than other operators. But I see a lot of people trying to just main one operator they want to play sophia on attack and like i don't know jaeger on defense and that are the only two operators they want to play in rainbow six siege ever and for me that is a pretty big red flag when it comes to you know you having value as a player especially if you're trying to become a comp player a lot of comp teams are going to require you to to like play a lot of different operators and it's really important especially in a team game to play what you need for the team play what the team needs not what you want to play so if you end up you know going outside of your comfort zone and playing a bunch of different operators and becoming flexible with your operator choice instead of maining one or two operators then you're going to have much more value to the team and you and your team are going to have more opportunities to win rounds and win games and overall that's going to increase your ranking kd all right, so next up, this is the big one, and I'm even at fault for this one from time to time, but that is to take responsibility from your deaths. You absolutely have got to take responsibility for your deaths. It's super important. You're never going to get better as a player if you just get headshotted and you're like, oh, this guy is so bad. He recoil headshotted me or, oh, this guy's bad because of this or this guy's so dumb, whatever, right? It's really, really important to just whenever you die, be like, okay, I overpeaked. I shouldn't have done that. Or, okay, I'm, I put myself in a poor, like, poor position. How do I put myself in a better position for next time? How would I play this situation out differently so that I don't die to this guy next time? Always be thinking of things such as that instead of just immediately blaming, you know, the other guy's dumb or, you know, whatever, right? I think this is something that a lot of people don't do and really struggle with. And I don't really have ver too many tips to like overcome your anger after you die and i understand that it is really difficult and like i said i even struggle with this from time to time but i've definitely got a lot better at it over the years uh, but like i said i don't really have many tips for it to like improve you know not getting angry after your death but i think that's really like a personal thing and you're gonna just gonna have to ask yourself you know what can i do to not get mad after i die and i think if you're really trying to improve which i think you are since you're watching this video then that's something you're going to be able to do and eventually you're just not going to get mad after your deaths you'll take responsibility and you'll learn from those deaths all right so next up just focus on the basics a lot of people are trying to do way too much when they're trying to you know rank up or improve or whatever it may be you know it's really important just to focus on the basics make sure you go in warmed up make sure you don't you know just get on with no sleep 
you know you haven't eaten anything you haven't warmed up you know things like that focus focus on the basic things make sure you have a good sensitivity make sure you have you know a good mouse pad or whatever it may be you know make sure you you know you practice your aim and your movement a good amount make sure you've you know done maybe some vod reviews on pro league games and just try to understand the game better you know you can't expect to get better overnight and i think just focusing on these basic things is going to help you in the long run all right so next step for number five play competitively if you can and by competitively i don't mean ranked i mean like scrims and actual like comp play like pro league but not pro league so what i mean by that is play scrims like the pro league players do but I'm not saying to play pro league, if that makes sense. I think playing competitive play is is super, super important. And I personally think this is one of the number one reasons why I improved as a player as fast as I did. If you've watched my video on my channel called uh, my uh, three levels of siege by aim after 1000 hours, you'll see my first ever uh, ace and first ever clip on PC. And you'll see that my aim and movement was so, so bad. I started playing competitively. I learned from playing with and against better players than myself. And eventually I just became way, way better than I was then. So playing competitively, I think is the best way to get game sense and learn the game faster and just improve overall. All right, so lastly, I wanna go over something that I get just asked about every single day. Every single day people ask me about this and it's, it's things such as, what's the best keyboard? What's the best mouse? What's the best monitor? Does 144 hertz matter versus 240 hertz? How far away should I sit from my monitor? Does the mouse pad matter? Things such as this, honestly, is all personal preference, right? Your sensitivity is personal preference, your aspect ratio, your FOV, your monitor, your mouse, your all of it. It's all personal preference. So my recommendation is don't focus too much on other people's, uh, you know, settings, their peripherals, things such as that. A lot of people do this, and I do not think that it is the play. Focus on what's good for you, not what's good for other people. Anyways, so guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much to my patrons. You can find the link to my Patreon down below in the description. But have a great day.